Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about when you need to break up with your makeup and declutter your beauty products, as well as tips for organizing as we continue with our Health and Wellness Month. Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., hear easy to implement tips on decluttering all areas of your life physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic. Learn how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award winning professional organizer and coach. Julie is passionate about supporting people in clearing clutter so they can share their gifts with the world and live a more joyful and fulfilling life. Is your makeup neat and organized, or is it a source of clutter in your bathroom or other areas of your home? Do you regularly purge your cosmetics, or are you still holding on to your blue eyeshadow from the 80s? The first step I'm going to suggest is releasing expired makeup. It's really important because if you wear bad makeup, you could get pink eye, inflammation, which can lead to redness, bumps, a rash, or even blisters and swelling. You could also not have sunscreen protection and get burned. Pitching expired makeup should be a no-brainer and an easy first step if you're having trouble decluttering your makeup. CheckCosmetic.net lets you put in a batch code and determine if your makeup has expired. If you don't have a batch code, here are some general guidelines. I researched a few sites and found some general consensus. Mascara. Throw out after three to six months. If it smells bad, pitch it. Eye and lip pencils can last up to five years. If there's a white tip on pencil liner that you can't get rid of by sharpening or shaving, release it. If liquid liner is starting to get dry or clumpy, toss. Eyeshadows last around two years. If you see changes in color and, and or smell, it's time for the trash. Lipstick and lip gloss, after two years, they've expired. If they have dried out or changed textures, pitch now. It won't go on easily and it won't look creamy. For foundation and concealers, most water-based foundations last up to a year while oil-based foundations last up to 18 months. You will want to look for changes in color, texture, or smell to indicate if it is past the expiration date. Concealers are good for up to two years. Changes in color, texture, and smell indicate if they've gone bad. Stick concealers should last up to two years, whereas liquids are good for one year. Blush. Cream base lasts 12 to 18 months and powdered lasts up to two years. If blush is expired, it has a dull gray film or look for any change in its texture. Powder blushes tend to last longer than cream blushes. Natural products usually last three to six months. If you keep in the refrigerator, they'll last a little longer, but the natural stuff does go bad more quickly. Making makeup last. Here are some tips to extend the life of your makeup. The best way to prolong the life of your makeup is to store your products in a dark and cool environment away from sunlight and moisture. Clean your brushes after each use. If your water-based foundation has dried up, try adding some drops of an alcohol-free toner to get the creamy texture back. Always apply makeup with clean hands and avoid sharing any beauty products to avoid infection. Use a new clean mascara applicator for each application and you can extend your life up to six months. Revive damaged powdered eyeshadows by pressing them back into their palettes, adding a few drops of rubbing alcohol and pressing the powder into place with the back of a spoon. Store eyeliners upright in a container which keeps bacteria from gathering at the bottom. Add a few drops of acetone nail polish remover to the bottle and shake well to loosen up nail polish. Keep lipstick out of hot, humid areas. The excess moisture can cause the pigments to break down. 
The fridge is a great place to keep it during the summer. I am a fan of buying smaller sizes because I don't wear a lot of makeup. I recently purchased something at Ulta and it came with a free bag of makeup. They were really small sizes and it's perfect for me. So that might be another route you want to try. Dior Soul with our customized aromatherapy blends designed to support you in clearing clutter. Our unique blends include Space Clearing, Zen Mind, Serenity, Awareness, Natural Awakening, Loving Kindness, Gratitude, Forgiveness, Blissful Balance, and Present Time, which will become your favorite. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Further decluttering. Once you've purged the expired makeup, go through what you have again. Do you have makeup you tried once but it wasn't your color? Did your friend buy you nail polish that you won't wear? If unused, donate or give to a friend. See if a local theater company can use it. If you haven't worn it in a while, maybe you don't really like it. Let it go or give it a good home. Free samples of makeup. If you are a makeup junkie and this is your clutter kryptonite, be wary. This is my clutter kryptonite. We can collect way too many of these and I speak from experience. Make sure you purge these as well. Use them or lose them. Making your own. Coconut oil is a great product. There are lots of uses for hair and skin. I saw a recipe where it was used to make eyeliner. I use all my hair and my hairdresser wanted to know what I was using because she could tell a difference. They're cheaper than most products and last longer. Plus, you most likely already have the ingredients in your pantry. I have begun making products with essential oils. There are lots of great tools like Pinterest and YouTube where you can find do-it-yourself recipes. Ways to organize and store your makeup. Don't keep it in a high traffic area or it is likely to morph into clutter. Keep it contained. If everything is left out, it's more likely to spill over. Remember to put back after you use. I have a bag that hangs on the back of our bathroom door. It's like a plastic shoe organizer by Simply Stashed, but it has smaller pockets that are more convenient than big shoe pockets. I also have a jar on the sink counter where I keep my brushes. My daily makeup and most frequently used is kept in a cosmetic bag that I keep stashed on my side of the sink for easy grab and put away. There are some really cool magnetic makeup boards. You could use towel rods with baskets. There are also lots of containers if you want to go that route. And I'm a fan of Pinterest because they always have clever ways to keep your makeup organized. Mason jars is one of them. Next, you want to think about how to organize. You could organize by day, night, glam, by item, lipstick, blush, etc., by color, blues, purples, browns, by frequency, daily, rarely, once in a blue moon. Whatever works best for you is the best way to choose. It must make sense to you, and the easier it is, the more likely you are to use it. Takeaways from today's podcast. Declutter by purging expired makeup. Check cosmetic.net can let you know if your batch is expired. Do a smell and look test to determine if makeup has gone bad. The best way to prolong the life of your makeup is to store your products in a dark and cool environment away from sunlight and moisture. Clean brushes after each use. You can organize by day-night glam, by item, lipstick, etc., by color, purples, browns, by frequency. Hardly ever, every day, once in a blue moon. Whatever works best for you is the best way to choose. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for listening to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 clutter-free living tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's services including coaching, classes, affirmations, aromatherapy, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course and more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. 
Don't forget to subscribe and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.